So today's video is going to be really useful because we're going to be talking about how to start the downswing and in particular we're going to be talking about how the backswing plays such a pivotal role in the start to the downswing. Now the reason why this video is going to be so good is because we've recently caught up with Lynn. Lynn is a very good golfer, very close to single figure golf but just gets caught in that problem between the backswing and how to start the downswing and just sort of finds inconsistency. So in today's video you'll learn exactly how we should be trying to start the downswing but also towards the end of the video I've got a fantastic drill because it really sort of simplifies exactly what it is that we're trying to be doing when we start the downswing and the reason why. So let's get stuck into the video, catch up with Lim, take it from there. Good. It is this shorter swing that makes such a difference. Okay. So, all right. So if we look at it from two different perspectives, um, I think what you've managed, let's just record this, good clock. So when we, although you've only really warmed up, the last time we spoke, we were kind of trying to get rid of that spinning motion and trying to play more of a draw. Yeah. And the reason for that was that at least then you had a bit of a um, idea of whether you were progressing, right? And I think that's worked particularly well, the idea of the draw. And I think what it's also done is it's helped you have a bit more sort of consistency with trying to be more aware of what's going on at the bottom, right? Yeah. So, you know, controlling club path, club path. Now, because it's still quite new, there's a little bit of a discrepancy occasionally on the club face. Yeah. Which means like you'll swing into out and leave the face more open yeah. than the path, which causes that horrible right, right shot. But yes. I think in time, I think that was a misread, in time that will settle. But what is interesting is between say shot four, uh, shot five, which I think is a misread, but it obviously would have gone to the right. Yeah. Then the compensation was immediately do something massive with the face. Okay. So there does need to, I think you need to build a bit more of a routine yes. still, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. On, on the stuff that you're doing. But from a numbers perspective, um, in terms of what's happening at the bottom, I think we're generally doing pretty good. good. Um, the thing that I'd be looking at in today's session would be this sort of vertical plane. Okay. okay, so we're going to try and make sure that this doesn't become too... This is steepness. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see. I see my steepness. So, the reason, just jump onto hmm. this now. So the reason why we'll be getting a bit of steepness, it will be due, this is freehand, so excuse me, let's draw that line now on there as a stronger yeah. reference, is because if we're moving this way yeah then we are going to be more prone to standing the shaft of the golf club up right yeah Do you see what yeah, yeah yeah so i think like i said what yeah. you've done brilliantly is you've worked on the draw yeah and you've achieved that more draw shape but we just need to i think just be slightly careful to make sure that we don't end up hitting the draw right yeah. okay yeah i am um, in my pre-shot routine and just when i'm just practicing i try to feel that's not it and i think that's, that's it. it i still feel the problem lends I'm, itself I'm still to do that no i think you're okay there i think the problem is is that it's still a bit ah right yeah. okay yeah well that's because if i'm thinking about that that's going to do what it wants now if i think about my legs and as you said keeping this leg in fact keeping this knee less bent is that left hip back thing i was talking if i keep if my we... left hip back then that's straighter and then I think absolutely. I mean, if we just, if you don't mind, let's so just have a quick. Leg. Not too long, straight away. If we can just talk on that subject yeah. area very briefly. Because okay. I did do a video quite rightly on this. I did a video on the right leg. Yes. And I did a video where I talked about the left leg. Yes. And I think the general principle that I was trying to say is of course, the left leg is going to move due to the rotation of the pelvis and the rotation of your body. But what I was trying to suggest really in that video is you don't need that amount of movement in the early part of the backswing. No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a necessary amount of moving around so right. early on. Okay. So, so if I just focus on that. Well, yeah, so if we do that together, so if you so get set up. Yeah, so um, if you swing back for me nice and slowly, 
and we just try and say kept that a little more flex keep turning so turn into that leg yeah and then what i'm suggesting it's almost like then your hip won't go as far back right do you see what i mean yes. which then means that your first thought would be pull the left hip back slowly yes do you see what i mean yes keep that leg nice and flexed yeah so do it again keep that right leg flexed so feel that brace stay there Pop that club across your shoulders for a moment for me. And just start again. Okay, and again. Yeah, do you see what I mean? Right. So it's a little bit more centered than what you demonstrated. Right, okay. And yeah. again. I sort of, I'm feeling I'm going on the outside edge of that. Yeah, there you go. Right. Now from there, what okay. I'm effectively saying is because so, your hip doesn't shoot back like this, right? It's not good because from here yeah. it'd be theoretically almost impossible to get. Yeah, that that's why I'm back struggling. That's why I fall over. Yeah. So what we're trying to say is the start to the downswing wants to be that sort of pulling the left hip back while shifting to the left. Yes. And that's if I don't go so. And far, that's so much easier if you yes. don't overturn in the backswing. Right. You with me? Yes. Yes. I think so. I doubt to stop that. Which Stay there. Helps. So again, you, you've still just got to make sure that you keep turning. So rotate in the backswing. Yeah. Right. Okay. So it really is a big wind up on the out. It's a out. big wind. It's a big rotation, but it's also a big resistance, isn't it? Feel that all down. Yeah. That tibia. So. Yeah. Okay. Just... Straightened up. Straightened up. Straightened up. Okay. And I think that's why you'll feel off balance when you try and pull the left hip back. Right. So go through it again. So start again, really slowly. So take, start to take it back. Yeah. And then swing it up. Now keep turning. Yes. Right. And then from there, then it's left hip back. Yes. Because it actually can't go anywhere else, can it? Exactly. Right. So yeah. if we get to there. Good. Yeah, now that's left the hip only back. Place it yes. Can go. Yeah, cool. If we just jump on here. You remember this? Yes. Actually, I'm going to use a club. I think it's going to be slightly safer. So I'll hold this as well. Right. Uh, you probably need to place your feet about here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, turn into your backswing, keep that flexed, and then do your best to hold onto that. You might need to come a little bit closer to the wall. Okay, rotate back. You okay with that? Yeah. Fine. Start the downswing. Turn your okay. chest. Yes. Do you see what I mean? Yes. So, good. Now turn your chest. Perfect. Feel different? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So if you swing back and let your right leg sort of straighten up as if like the wrong move. So let this come way behind. Yeah. Do you see what I'm trying to yes. say? Yes, yes. I think from, from your backswing position, your old one, yes, it's, really it's going to be quite easy to hit the draw because you can sort of jump up and throw your arms that way. Right, okay. But I also think if you go that deep here and yeah. you try and pull this back, I think that's where you're going to have the issue. Right. So all I'm trying to say is if you get set up again, swing back and pause. I want you to think more about that sort of separation. Oh, cross. Jab myself. So I want you to think more about the separation in the backswing and then you can rotate everything together in the downswing. So we're separating those faces, so what the I'm upper saying body is, away from lower body. Exactly. So the, the lower body is restricted in the backswing. And, back and then it all goes together. And then you can rotate it all, all together. All goes together. together. Right. You with me? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you've really done all your work then, haven't you? I think so. So there yeah. will be still an element of separation in the downswing, but not on a conscious not level. As, right. You're in my life here. No, you're okay. Jump, <laughs> <laughs> jump back. So this is the continuation of that right. incline plane. Yeah? Yes. So okay. I know you move, won't, but you I'll just move it. Those. So yeah. I'm going to hold this right. through the correct sort of angle, right? So slowly swing back. Right, very good. Now come down, turn your chest and bring your arms down. Very good. Keep coming through. Keep coming through. Yeah, do you see what I mean? Right, you want to be right this out This is there. what we're trying to look okay. at. Okay, yeah. Not, Not there. this is too vertical. Right, yeah. You with okay. me? Yep, this, right. Yeah, and that's why you need that start of the downswing to be, yes, rotation led. again so I'm going to hold this here and I want you to swing th underneath it as you swing through okay. 
Ja. <laughs> okay. Break it down, slowly swing back. Keep the resistance. Okay. Now move to your left. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. Very good. All right. Different, yeah? Yes. Much lower. Well done. <clears throat> so I'm going to do like a bit of a sort of impact drill. So if right. you get set up for me. Okay. So keep the club behind the ball. Okay. Yeah. Um, open up. Imagine your belt buckle's pointing in this vicinity. Point it down towards your left ankle. Yeah. No, start again. Keep right. your feet where they are. Um, put, rest your club down for one moment. Put your hands across your, um, yeah, posture. Down towards your left ankle. Down. Look at me. Down. There you go. Right. Okay. Now sort of stay there as best as you can. Try and keep your shoulders as square as you can and just do a very short back swing and throw. Fine. Let's try that again. Good. Try and stay low with it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Really feel like your chest is covering the ball. Better. Yeah? Good. Does that feel different? It's very strange. Yeah. Nice. So if we look at it from a face perspective first, okay, what we can start to see. Hands, yeah? Yes. Really solid looking. Yeah. Relationship and impact, okay? okay? Okay. Now what you've been more prone to doing is sort of going this way and sort of almost leaning back. Okay. Okay. So this is kind of more the sort of hitting and then we swing through and the arms again are much more solid. Right. From the side on perspective, what we can start to see is if we were to introduce our sort of inclined plane line, I'm doing this freehand again, so forgive yeah. me, it's a bit lazy. Let's just reintroduce that roughly through where we hit through. Do you see what I mean? Yes. So we're much tighter. Do you see what I mean here? Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. And what I was trying to say earlier is that when your hips move off the t off this sort of yes. chair, yeah. then that will inevitably shove the club above the plane. Right. Which yes. means that effectively you'd be swinging on a more vertical right. plane if you were yeah. swinging through there. Yeah, so it's all the same error, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just, it's a slightly yeah. fresh way of thinking about it. I mean, yes. if you, with this sort of exercise, you can kind of see that, although that probably feels like a really short swing to you. Yeah, it's quite long. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's a much better, do you see what I mean? Yeah. It's a really, really good hitting area. Right. Not only because you're keeping the club on plane, yeah. but because you're also stabilizing that sort of low point as well. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. What we've basically seen to summarize from the lesson today is the importance of keeping this leg flexed. Don't let this drop potentially too far behind you, okay? Keeping this flexed, keeping an element of resistance with the lower half makes it much easier to open up the lower body in the start to the downswing and those two are really, really closely linked. What we've also sort of noticed is as you start the downswing, you don't necessarily want to just fire the lower body similar to what Lynn was doing. You want to rotate the chest with you as well. And finally incorporating that drill of being very downward, it also just encourages you to understand that, yeah, you want to be going back and then you can be moving, feeling like you're moving down in towards the golf ball. That's going to help you smother the ball and improve that ball striking dramatically. Catch up with you guys again really, really soon.